Argentina. And boy, do I have an amazing deliciousness today. Pero la prima cosa, but the first thing that we need to, to do is to put on the fadale. So what did I say? Welcome to Mia Cucina. Cucina in Italian means kitchen. And fadale in Italian means apron. And I have a beautiful apron today. And it's all about giraffes. I love giraffes. And it's me and you. Yes, we are one. And this dish that I bring to you, it is a fabulous dish. And I am bringing back a virgin wheat, which is also called uh, and known as, um, let me see if I can say this word correctly, ain corn. It is one of the oldest kinds of wheat in the world. And this is what it looks like. Look at this. This is ancient, ancient, ancient uh, wheat. And what I have done is I have cooked it in some water with a little bit of salt. And it does take a little bit of time for it to be cooked. And that's what I have here. And I have a good two cups of this amazing, wonderful cooked berries. And I'm going to get into this. But what I'm going to show you today is a citrus wheat berry salad with delicious shrimp. And I have a pound of lard shrimp here. Also, what I have in my pan right here, it is a, a very heaping tablespoon of, um, of ghee. And I'm going to turn my pan on, on a medium to a medium high because by the time the shrimps are done this dish should be finished so let me move my wheat berries out of the way because I want to get into all these wonderfulness that this salad is going to have but what I want to bring your attention first of all is to the shrimp and what I've done here is I always tell you guys when you peel an orange or you peel a lemon make sure that you get the white out Put it in between paper towels and dry it and this is what i have here and what i've done here guys is that i have this is lemon and i took a teaspoon of lemon and i added into this little bowl over here i also have salt and pepper and then i just grind this and i grind this into like a powder yes you gotta put the, the muscle to the, the the pedal to the muscle or the muscle to the pedal one of the others and then what i want to do is i want to take and i want to because I want my shrimp to have that wonderfulness of the um, lemon. Uh, because I am going to be making a wonderful salad dressing. That way till I show you how to do this. And what I want to do is I want to get my shrimps. And these I already have deveined them. And I already have cleaned them. Because I just want these to make a nice uh, seared. Um, and make sure to make them sear, you guys. Make sure you use paper towels and you dry them. So what I'm doing is I'm just going really quickly here. I'm just going to shift them, you know, turn them inside out or upside down any way you want them, any way you want to. I just turn them, uh, whatever it is, whatever makes you happy. And then I'm going to do the other side because I want to get these guys to be very well seasoned. And it's going to be very simple, easy transaction. So they're seasoned, simple and easy. Boom, done. Bye-bye. All right, so what I have, like I said, I have two cups of the cooked, wonderful wheat berries. And I am using the virgin berries. And you can find them in your health food stores. Or you can find them online. And then you cook them. And that's what I have here. And you put them in the refrigerator. I did these last night. So it makes it a lot easier for me to do this. So I'm just going to put that on the side. I'm going to also put the uh, uh, wonderful uh, lemon that I showed you to dry. And then you put it in your food processor or in your uh, spice grinder. And then that way you can create all kinds of dishes with this particular thing. I also have one and a half cups of sliced. Well, actually, I didn't slice my, I slice them and then I chopped them celery. I also have one and a half cups of berries and I am going to mix them. I have blueberries and I also have some strawberries and I'm going to show you how I'm going to treat these guys. In the meantime, now my oil is getting nice and hot 
And I just want to bring my shrimps right into this, right here. This dish is going to be easy and fast, and anybody can make this dish. And let me tell you something about ghee. Ghee, invest in ghee. Make sure when you get your ghee, it's grass-fed. Mine is grass-fed and organic. Yours doesn't have to be organic, but I would implore you to do so. I just do not want the pesticides. So right now, I just can't add in my shrimp. As you can see, this is going to be really quickly the way that this is going to go. All right, I'm done with that dish. Boom, finito with that dish. I am going to get this bowl right here. And then what I want to do is I want to add my wheat, my wonderful wheat that's just going to go right into this bowl. You know, and I'm telling you, I'm really getting into the bowl thing because the bowl is really, I, I love the bowls because it contains everything and it keeps everything together. And it's really about assembling this wonderful, delicious dish. All right, so then what I have here is, remember I told you about the strawberries. I also have an orange, which I've done is I have sliced the orange. I have peeled the orange, and that's what I have here. I also have um, some, uh, you can use clementines, or you can use... Um, you know the the little uh, the the little uh, little chiquitito. I call them the chiquitito oranges, but they're tangerines. So I'm using orange and tangerines. It's very floaty, that no cloud. Okay, see. And then what I have here is I have taken two green onions that I have sliced, and I'm also going to put them on here, just like so because that's going to give the green. I'm also going to take the same green onions and I'm just going to add it right into the shrimp. So it's actually, it's going for the shrimp as well as the salad. Boom, we're done with that. I have also taken two tablespoons of chopped parsley that I'm also going to put on here like so. And I'm just going to leave a little bit on the side because that's also going to be in my salad dressing. And then what I want to do here is I want to take two spoons and I just kind of want to mix the berries with the green, uh, the wonderful green uh, onions that we used and a little bit of the celery because the celery gives the freshness. And it also makes everything look so pretty, see, claro que si. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add my celery. Celery is wonderful for you. It's very healthy. That's going to give the crunch to our beautiful salad. And I'm just in, into the same bowl. You see how easy that is, guys? Look how simple it is. It's very simple and easy. As you can see, my beautiful bowl is going on in here like that. All right, so then I'm done with this. I'm done with this part. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for the rest. My shrimps now, I'm going to start turning them around because now they're starting to get nice and, and I, I want these to be nice and nicey. They're starting to make their, you know how they start turning pink with the wonderful onions and it's going to give that deliciousness to that. Because, you know, we just don't want to treat these too much. We just want them just to add to this wonderful, wonderful salad. And I love making this salad. I really, really do. And this goes down very fast, guys. So I'm going to turn down my, my heat now to like a medium. In the meantime, what I want to do is I want to get my strawberries. Get yourself a little uh, throwaway thing. And then what I want to do is see the little green. I want to go in there and I want to take... And I'm going to use my little paring knife and I'm just going to kind of go around to my strawberry that goes on the ground, on the, on the throwaway little thing. And then I'm just going to continue to do these. It's very simple transaction. Anybody can do this. Simple like that. You see what I'm doing like that, that technique that I'm doing right here, just like this. And let me tell you something about this week. Did you know the... Science and archaeologists have found virgin wheat seeds dating back, guys, 12,000 years ago. Yes. And uh, I also have to uh, warn you a little bit because icorn or virgin wheat seeds 
Um, those that have celiac disease, please check with your doctor. I am not a doctor. I am not a nutritionalist. I am, I am simply a wonderful cook. And yes, and sometimes you have to toot your own horn. You know what? Everybody can be a wonderful cook. Everybody can learn how to cook. You see how fast and simple and easy this is. My shrimp is almost, almost done, almost finished. All right, so then I am done with this particular part. Take this out of the way. And this wheat, it's, it's a, like I said, it's, it's one of the oldest, the oldest, oldest wheat. It has never been modified. It is, it is wonderful. It is so healthy. And also, when you make the wheat, also, you know, you can use it for salad. You can use it for cereal. I love to have it with cereal. You can have it for all kinds of wonderful things. So then now what I want to do is I want to add my blueberries right into here, just like that. I am going to take my wonderful berries and I'm just going to cut them in four. I'm going to save the bigger one because I like it, you know, I like, you know, I, I really like to have color. And this is full of antioxidants, this salad, guys. It's, uh, uh, it's amazing and delicious. And it's not only that, it's healthy for you. And you're getting all of these nutritions. And right now we need, even though it's getting nice and warm here, we still need to take care of our bodies. We need to still build our immune system. And when we have a nice, healthy immune system, the body doesn't get sick. All right, so then I have my big strawberry that I just want to keep on the side. And I'm just going to kind of mix now together. See, it's just one thing after the other. You know, we're just going to mix this wonderfulness. Oh, yes. And we haven't even done the salad dressing. Now I'm going to get my oranges in here. Yes, and I'm going to get my wonderful, uh, I am using, um, you can use clementines, you can use whatever you like. As you can see, it's a beautiful, and I'm mixing this beautiful salad. I, it's a party on a plate. It is beautiful, and it's delicious, delicious. And then what I like to do is I like to serve my salad dressing on the side. So as you take this out, Okay, you will also have the salad dressing on the side. So then what I want to do now is I want to come and I want to come and bring my, my wonderful, beautiful shrimps. And I'm not done yet, guys, because like, I still got to show you the salad dressing. Because, you know, we do steps at a time. Now, you know, professionals, they all have the little things of the shrimps going on one side. I, I'm a cook. And, you know, and, and that's how I, you know, I, I mean, you can have them any way you want to, you know, you know, the, the little legs. Um, and as you can see, I'm using a whole entire pound. And uh, it's my husband and I, and we're going to have this for lunch. And we're also going to carry it into dinner. Yes. Because once I do this, it, this is wonderful also for dinner. And look how pretty this is. I mean, it, like I said, you can even see... I mean, it's so beautiful, such a beautiful dish. I'm going to put my beautiful big strawberry in the middle like that with all these beautiful little shrimps. They are all are looking so good. And then, you know, I am not going to, you know, I'm going to, you know, I still have this wonderful deliciousness. Let me shut this off. And I'm just going to pour that just a little bit over my shrimp like that. We have not yet done the salad dressing, guys. Because as this is just settling down, you see that? Do you see that? Now we're going to do the salad dressing. And the salad dressing is so easy and simple to do. All right, then what I have for the salad dressing is that I have a third cup of olive oil. Let me move this beautifulness on the side because it's still hot. So I have my quarter cup of olive oil that's going to go in here. I have three tablespoons of grapefruit juice. I have three tablespoons of orange juice. I have two cloves of garlic that I have minced. And I know I got my little guy over here that's going to go right in here like so. And this salad dressing, wait till you have it, it goes marvelous with this dish it is so delicious and then what I have here is I have a tablespoon of uh, honey 
If you don't want to use honey, you can use maple syrup, but I really want the benefits of honey because honey is wonderful for you. Check, you know, check it out. And then what I also have here is a tablespoon of lemon juice. So let me repeat this. A third quarter cup of olive oil, three tablespoons of grapefruit juice, three tablespoons of orange juice, two cloves of gar garlic mince, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and one, table, uh, one teaspoon of maple syrup. You can use more if you want. And then what I have is the rest of the wonderful, um, remember that we talked about earlier, the um, parsley. And then what I want to do is I want to give it a swishy, 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 swishy. Look at this. And then what I want to do is remember that I had some lemon in here and some salt and pepper, and that's all gonna go in there. So I usually use about a teaspoon of everybody, and it gets everybody taken care of. Then what I wanna do over here is because I gotta wanna taste, I wanna taste, I wanna see, you know? Oh, it's wonderful. Just keep shuffling and shuffling it, so you can mix it really, 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 really well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it right back into this little guy right here. Why not, right? I mean, why not? I, it's already dirty. What should I do to something else? And then what you guys are going to have is you're going to have this deliciousness, this citrus, beautiful wheat berry salad with shrimp. And then this deliciousness, let me bring it a little closer. This marvelous, look at this beautiful salad dressing. Isn't that beautiful? And then look at this don't you want oh my god it's delicious and i can't wait for me to munch of this deliciousness and invest guys invest in buying this virgin wheat berry it is really healthy for you for those that have celiac disease please check with your doctors and then you're gonna have something as delicious and beautiful as this that's all I have for you today. I want to thank my beautiful sponsors, Cola Harris with Pharmacy. I want to thank uh, Stephen Billy with Billy Fishing and Charters. I want to thank Dario Rodriguez with Life and Food Superstores. And I also want to thank Soul Angel with Color Street. And I want to thank you for joining me in this beautiful manjata, in this citrus wheat berry salad with shrimp. It is for a king and a queen. You are a king and you are a queen of your castle. And then you have this beautiful, wonderful salad dressings that you can pour it over and have it any way you want to. And I want to thank you today in this marvelous day.